Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm back with some brand new butterfly knife reviews. Since we have quite a few to cover, I'm going to be breaking this video into two parts. As you can probably tell from the title, we're looking at a whole new knife design today, not just a few new skins. So this week we'll start with a review of the new knife design, and then we'll take a look at some skins. Now I try to avoid spoilers while planning these reviews. I've heard good things about the new design, but before making this video I've never actually seen it. And apparently these knives come with warning cards now? Anyway, onto the knife. And I'm already seeing some noticeable differences. First, the latch is a bit more stiff than any of the previous models. Hopefully this means it will stay tight a little bit longer than the older models. Second, the handles have certainly been touched up, most notably on the top portion, there's a little bit of extra detail now. The sweep at the top of the blade looks like it's been increased too. But by far the most noticeable change is this little hook piece. It's been extended and it really adds to the overall look. Overall, these are some great cosmetic changes and I think they finally perfected the design. This is about as close as you can get to the in-game model without making it dangerous. However, this more faithful design does come with a trade-off. When doing tricks, the more complex the knife design gets, the more you'll have to work around. Now am I saying this knife is only for display or it can't be used for tricks? No, of course not. And if you've already been using the older CSGO knives, switching to this is not much work. But this knife design will be a little bit more restrictive. But again, just about all the basic tricks will still work just fine. We've already been looking at this knife for a while now, but let's take a quick closer look at the skin. This is the Autotronic, a very sleek, predominantly red and white design with red and black handle. In addition to the colors, there's a second more subtle layer that even covers the grips. This cloud-like overlay really helps to vary the contrast of the design, and it keeps the colors from looking flat. And I really like the look of the new handles too, they seem to have more of a matte finish to them than the older designs did. Okay, second skin. And this one's admittedly a bit harder to judge. I've never been a fan of the actual CSGO case hardened design, and while this does offer the correct texture and the pattern is pretty sharp, I don't think the finish even lets the good aspects of the case hardened design show through. It's the same conundrum you have when adapting the fade. How do you replicate special metal painting techniques, or in this case, surface hardening techniques, in a way that can be mass produced for fans? The fade went with more of a neon color style and a glossy finish to try to simulate the look, and I think that was a good compromise. But it looks like for this they took a more direct approach and just tried to copy the pattern. The actual printing quality is very good, and even the edges of the knife have a nice shifting color scheme, and I'm sure for some people that's all they want, just the overall design, but that's not my preference. And moving on to the next skin, here we have custom edition of the Marble Fade. And this is another example of good compromise. Instead of trying to replicate the entire spectrum of the Marble Fade design, they picked a red to blue color scheme and stuck to it. And because of this, you get some really nice high detail transition between the colors. And unlike the simple gradient of the standard fade knives, on this model the colors seem to flow together. The more simple color selection means that they had more room to work with for the color mixture, while still being able to offer high detail. Meaning while this does offer a more limited color selection than the in-game version, this knife still has a great overall look. The grips opts for more of a standard gradient as opposed to the more flowing style of the blade or the single color of the in-game grips. And that does help the knife look a little bit more colorful, even when closed, so it's a nice addition. Now moving on to the final knife design, and wow, I never thought I liked purple grips on a knife, but this pulls it off. This is the Ultraviolet Butterfly Knife. This is probably the easiest knife to replicate, but looks like Cuts took this design one step further. In game, even at max settings, the grips are dark purple, and while they do look pretty cool, the lack of any finish leaves them looking flat. Even the black coloring on a knife is pretty basic, and a combination of the two leaves you with a very underwhelming overall design. In contrast, this replica adds metallic coloring to the grips, which really makes them pop, and the matte finish on the blade gives it a really standout yet professional look. And these relatively simple changes combined really reinvent the look making it much more appealing than the design it's based on. If you're looking for something more low-key than the other knives, yet not as monochromatic as the night line of knives, this is certainly worth a look. Alright guys, that's all for this video. As always, links are in the description, and you don't have to wait 7 days for the next knife video. I'm going to be having a special video partially through the week where I'm going to be becoming a whole new knife type. We only have two designs or skins to look at for it, so that video will probably be a little bit on the shorter side, but hopefully can hold you over. Anyway, I have a poll on screen right now, what was your favorite knife design in this video? But stay tuned for next week where we'll be covering the last four butterfly knives. They're mostly redesigns of skins we've seen in the past, 
but there's some pretty cool changes and is one brand new design we have not seen yet that some of you have been asking for so be sure to stay tuned uh, special thanks to cuts for providing an eyes for review and that's it i'll see you guys next time bye